Welcome back to Ask the Expert. Today we have a question from Greg in Poland. Now, Greg wants to know why non-wovens don't have grit sizes. Okay, easy to explain is to, to actually show you. So we have a, a piece of uh, coated abrasive here, which is actually grade 180. And we have a non-woven pad here, which also uses the same grit size, a 180. Okay, so this is what we would call quite a fine uh, sandpaper. When we use this as on, uh, on, on a surface, such as this here, to sand down, because this is what we call a monolayer product, we actually push these abrasive grains into the surface of, uh, of the metal we're trying to abrade. And there's nowhere for the abrasive grain to, to escape, so we get the full effect of, uh, of that grit size of 180. However, with a non-woven product uh, such as this hand pad, even where we use the exact same grit size, we have what we call like a, a sponge effect. So this acts like a spring. So when we push the hand pad and, and try to abrade the surface of, of the metal here, we don't get the full effect of, of the grain because uh, that same particle size is allowed to push back inside this uh, 3D, uh, 3D soft material. So it kind of acts like the suspension of your car. The grit will not penetrate into the, uh, into the metal as hard as it would with a product like uh, a monolayer product like this sandpaper here. Same applies for a flat disc. This is grit 80 on a, on a flat disc, so uh, it will do, you know, remove some material when you use it. Here we go, I have a non-woven product, which is grade coarse. Again, same particle size, but this will remove much more material, material than the non-woven product will due to that 3D uh, sponge-like effect. Okay, so that's why on non-wovens we don't use grit size, we use grays to explain uh, how aggressive uh, or how unaggressive the product will be. Hope that answers your question. Any more questions, put them down in the comments below and we'll get back to you with an answer as soon as we can. Cheers.